there everyone, Dr. Beth Westy here, and I am popping on talking about how to decrease bloat. Now I'm specifically talking about bloat that is right around the midsection related to your digestive system. This is not bloat um, that you kind of feel all day long. This, this type of bloat I'm focusing on is really the bloat that you feel sort of midday afternoon and then at the end of the day, this is the bloat where you're like, oh my gosh, I, I buttoned my pant this, pants this morning and now I can't button them. What the heck is going on? Yeah, that's this type of bloat. Mm -hmm. If you have more questions on other types of bloat or if you're like, oh, I have this too, send me a message. Don't hesitate to reach out because um, I can do another video on that too. But one of the things with bloat, how to decrease bloat, is all about the source of it and really getting your digestive system and getting your gut to work better and not be so angry with you. Yeah, mm -hmm. yeah. Most of the women that I work with in a one-on-one -on -one setting, um, and I'm gonna put a, uh, a link in the comments here where you can learn more about that. Um, this is a big part of what we do. If your digestive system isn't working, your hormones aren't gonna work well, your metabolism is not gonna do anything, anything. So really keep in mind that the more you can do to decrease your bloat, the better your body's gonna feel, the better your systems are gonna feel. So, bloat. Number one thing, add this in, apple cider vinegar in the morning. Yeah, it's totally disgusting, I know. It is not something that you wanna drink in the morning. Oh, good morning, hello, would you like a lovely cup of coffee? No, no, let's just pound back some apple cider vinegar first. Is it gonna help with bloat? Yeah, yeah it is, yeah. Honestly, if there was like a better way to get this in, I would tell everybody to do it. I would be shouting it from the rooftops and everything, but it, there, there is not, there's just not. It's just so gross, it's so gross. So yeah, get your apple cider vinegar in, in the morning. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Yeah, that's gonna do it. Cutting out gluten. Another thing to really cut out too, and this can be hidden in a lot of stuff, um, gluten, soy, yeah. Gluten is very inflammatory. Um, you know, sometimes it's dairy for people, uh, but also soy. Soy is the largest protein in the human diet, which means it's, it doesn't get broken down very well at all. It just kind of bangs around your gut and irritates everything. So if you have a lot of bloat, especially after you eat a meal, a couple hours after you eat a meal, you're like, oh my God, I had this soy latte and now I can't button my pants again. What's going on? <laughs> yeah, you're just, you're not breaking it down. Your body's not processing it. It's not happening. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Another thing here, add in more electrolytes. Add in more electrolytes. There's so many women that are trying to hydrate, trying to stay high. Oh, I'm, I'm drinking water, I'm doing all the things, oh yeah. But the more I drink, the more bloated I feel. That's because you're not actually uploading that hydration into your cells. Your body's actually not getting it. So how that happens is you get some electrolytes, right? Get some, get, get some minerals in there and the water, boom. Now your body can upload that hydration and you don't have that bloat and you just get fantastically hydrated, which everybody loves. Decrease your raw foods. Either cut down or cut out raw foods. I know raw foods have a bunch of like phyto um, nutrients in them and a bunch of things that are like fantastic for you. Great, good, wonderful, raw foods, awesome. <laughs> but, and this is a big but. <laughs> That's my joke, right? This is a big but. Raw foods for as healthy as the nutrients are. As humans, it's really, really tough to get raw food all the time if your gut is not like tip top shape. If you have some bloat, it's not tip top shape. And then you shove a bunch of raw food in. I mean, those are just like leaves and stuff. I mean, we're not cows. We don't have four stomachs. You know what I mean? The way our body chemistry works, eh, we gotta help it out a little bit. So if you ever find yourself eating like some raw broccoli or cauliflower, you know, like those veggie trays, and then you're like, Ooh, oh, what's going on? Uh, yikes. Yeah, cut down the raw foods. Even a salad, it's a leaf. It's a leaf, yeah. Really tough to eat raw. Really tough for your body to break down and digest and totally irritates and leads to that bloat. Yeah, so cut down or cut out the raw foods and meaning just, just cook them a little bit. Just cook them a little bit, yeah, yeah. 
I know this might sound weird, but you can take your salad and heat it up a little bit, like sprinkle a little lemon juice on it, heat those leaves up in the microwave for 10 seconds. That, that little bit of heat breaks them down so your body can digest it better and it doesn't piss off your stomach. Yeah, because again, when, you're, when your gut is bloated, your body doesn't work well. Your metabolism is not gonna work. So all the healthy foods that you're eating, all that salad you're eating to try and lose that last five pounds or whatever, it isn't really gonna do it. This is one of those things that I find for women when they're like, okay, I've, I've, I've started this thing, I'm eating healthier, I'm doing really well, and, and this is going great for me, but out of the you know 30 pounds that I wanna lose, I've lost 15, but I can't lose that last 15. It's not budging. What's going on? This is a huge piece that we look at. This is a big piece of getting your system to the next level. So again, there's that link in the comments if you wanna know more about working with me in a one-on-one -on -one setting. Um, but <laughs> stop eating so much raw food. Cook it, break it down, help your gut. Last piece here, chew, chew your food more. Chew your food more. We eat so fast. We eat so fast, right? I don't know about you, but I grew up in a household with siblings I mean, unless it was something that we really didn't like, it was like if you don't eat, if you don't eat or like anybody else like lick their piece of pizza, when the <laughs> and pizza, me neither. <laughs> but we would eat so fast, right? And we still do that. I find myself eating so fast sometimes, not even on purpose. I'm like, oh, this is good, and I just all of a sudden I'm like, oh, I'm done with that already. Oops. Oh, geez, right? You really have to be intentional, really have to focus on chewing your food, break it down. The digestive process starts in your mouth. There's salivary enzymes and everything that help break down food. Actually crunching that food down and apart helps your gut digest better, which decreases bloat. Decreasing bloat leads to decreasing the inflammation that's in your digestive system, which means you boost your metabolism. Yes, fantastic how this all works together. <laughs> so magical, so magical. All right, so that's what I got for you guys tonight. Let me know if you have any other questions. Um, but <laughs> other resources I have for you are, of course, my book, The Female Fat Solution. This is on Amazon. I talk about a lot of these things in here and more all about nutrition, matching your hormones and your cycle. It's fantastic. My podcast is The Female Health Solution on all places podcast. And then my YouTube channel is Dr. Beth Westy, um, where you can get all of my archived videos. So if you're looking for something specific, say menopause or fertility or whatever it is for women's health, it's gonna be on my YouTube and you can look that up and subscribe to it so you stay updated. All right, that's what I got for you tonight. Let me know your questions. Otherwise, I'll see you guys later.